area of interest. And this is the aerial mission. So I'm just going to click, boop, and tap to create a mission. So anything inside that rectangle, when I tap, creates a polygon. Like any other single finger to move, two fingers, let's use zoom in and out. So what you can see when I tap, it makes an area. I can name it. I have four vertices that are active on there in the four corners, and I have the plus sign in the mid lines. Those let me add uh, additional vertices to my polygon. So I can stretch this out. If I want to stretch this down the road a little bit, I can just drag these corners and move them where I want to. So does it fly through the vertices? No. Or it just defines the area of interest. Okay. And it will create a mission to ensure that I map inside. It decides on its own yep. how to fly through. So it's gonna just go You'll 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 see it up here, right before your okay. area. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a name. I'm just going to call this like test mission one or class mission one. Optimizes the path. Done. The next thing I have to do is select the camera. So this is what I'm. So I'm going to make a, a photogrammetry mission first. We'll say the P1 camera. So I'm going to click on that. And then it brings up every payload that I can mount to that drone. We have the Zenmuse P1 camera on there, so I'm going to choose Zenmuse P1, and then it asks me which lens I have on. I have the 35 millimeter lens, so I'm going to choose that. Bam! So now it sets up a flight mission to cover that. It is not the most efficient flight method, though. For any type of mission, you want the flight lines to be on the, the long axis. So really all I gotta do at this point is just touch one of these corners and move it and it'll reorientate itself automatically. Now this is gonna change a lot. If I do nothing more, it would take off. Wherever I take off, I could take off half a mile down the road. It'll fly down to the site here, start at that front top left corner green line, fly the site, come down, end the mission, and fly all the way back down the road and land itself, all right? It'll only take pictures along that green we're going to change some aspects about this. So right now, you can see all I've done is set Zenmuse camera. There's a, the next item now is called Smart Oblique. For all intents and purposes, you will probably never use it, not for a transportation type road. It's more for object and building an architectural creation. It will oblique the camera out, so you're getting oblique right. views for getting faces of buildings and things like that. For stock, even for stockpiles or anything else like that, maybe your straight down photography is all you need. So I would not turn that on. Like for example, 3D mapping of a building. Yes. With this method, without it, you'll still get the rooftops. You'll still see the elevation of the building. It'll just be holes. Battery error. Get it the Nintendo oil.